My name is Vincent Yao, and I'm a professor of real estate and professor of finance at Georgia State's G. Mac Robinson College of Business. Climate change is one of the most important challenges facing us now and in foreseeable future. Scientists predict that climate change will lead to increased incidence and severity of both chronic and acute climate and weather events, leading to unprecedented risks and disruptions that will affect corporations, consumers, the financial system, and aggregate economy. Every individual, every organization, every place, and every profession on this planet would be impacted by the climate change. And that's requiring all of us to study how climate change affects our lives from different perspectives. And more importantly, how we can address and manage this risk. While climate changes have a broad impact on our society, many important aspects of climate change economics are financial in nature, such as the pricing and the hedging of risks stemming from climate change, the awareness and attitudes of investors and the consumers toward this risk, and the effects of climate risk on investment decisions. This burst of new research activity constitutes a new and quickly growing field that today we refer to as climate finance. In this discipline, the primary research approach used to answer these questions are empirical and regression analysis using large slash big data. These data include high frequency financial market data such as stock price on the hourly frequency, detailed transaction data such as housing transactions, and the panel data that allow us to track individual firms, investors, and the family's decision making over time. Although we combine survey, administrative, and transaction data all together, we rely on the latter two much, much more as they capture individuals' real activities that may be affected by certain policies and other changes. The climate finance discipline seeks for solutions in the following area. First, based on how we estimate that realized and expect climate change affects macro and micro econ economies, we incorporate the relationships into forecasting models for better planning and budgeting decisions. Second, based on how each asset class and each market are affected by climate change, we design mechanisms such as better disclosure requirements to allow markets to price this climate risk. Third, if the market is not yet functioning well to price or mitigate climate risk, we identify possible frictions that have prevented markets from working. And eventually, by removing these frictions, we can help facilitate the market. A good example is insurance that is essential for us to continue our life in the presence of a climate risk. Private insurance is sometimes either too expensive or non-existent to help homeowners and investors to manage their flood risk and natural disaster exposure. And there are many factors that contribute to this inefficiency. So lying with research really trying to identify these factors. Uh, one of the projects I have constructs a real-time climate risk exposure for all public companies in the United States. With this measure, we now can quantify each firm's climate risk exposure at any point of time, allowing investors, both equity and debt investors, to price the underlying climate risk. Ultimately, this would press firms to change their behavior by paying their dues according to the environmental cost due to their business activities or any exposure they may face from the climate change. Without this type of measure, stakeholders such as investors would have no way to understand the magnitude of a climate risk exposure, and the business would not have no incentive to change their behavior. 
The awareness of climate changes is rapidly shaping the future of our economy, businesses, and our professions. Those that cannot develop a sustainable business model will find it very, very difficult and costly to survive or continue their operation. Therefore, it is very important for our students to learn from very young, very beginning, how to develop or help businesses, either their employers or clients, develop a sustainable business model. For example, in real estate, a lot of these properties, both residential and commercial buildings, are facing increasing flood and other catastrophic risks from changing climate. A lot of old worlds in investing and managing real estate investments have become obsolete. It is important for today's students to learn sustainability in order to fare well in tomorrow's business world. I'm in real estate and finance profession. Uh, but the construction and the maintenance of all these buildings require input and work from many other professions, including surveyors, engineers, mechanics, policy makers, urban planners, and so forth. Related to climate change, it is always a collaboration and a partnership to agree on certain things and implement any sustainable solutions.